Hi, I'm Steve Kerr of Indigenous Product, and I know I'm not in proper attire, but we have an incredible show coming to you today of a doctor that I use, Dr. Caress, one of the best doctors in preventative medicine I've ever met in my life. His amazing, beautiful, amazing office secretary, Miss Betsy, you're going to see her, and you're going to also have the opportunity to get the help that you haven't been able to get right here in the heart of Oak Cliff, and I truly endorse this doctor. He has a passion for the community. You need to come see him. Thank you. Hi, my name is Betsy here with Marimar Interventional Pain Treatment Center, Dr. Karashi's office, specializing in pain management. You suffer from back pain, knee pain, uh, elbow pain, shoulder pain, any joint pain, feel free to give us a call. We take most insurances. Um, and we have very reasonable prices when it comes to private pay. Call us at 214-282-5257. We're located at 2701 Southampton Road, Suite 150. This is in Dallas, Texas, 75224, Oak Cliff area. So we were talking about our backgrounds and mm -hmm. you were telling me how you grew up in Dallas. Right. I grew up in New York mm -hmm. and when I went to um, medical mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. I graduated mm -hmm. 1987, mm -hmm. which is 32 years ago. Yes. Now, the one thing is this. Medical students mm -hmm. in America mm -hmm. are taught mm -hmm. pathophysiology. Mm -hmm. They're taught how to analyze and diagnose That's correct. problems. Correct. When they become doctors, mm -hmm. this is what they're taught to do. Mm -hmm. They are taught to do studies like x-rays, mm -hmm. MRIs, right. and make a diagnosis, mm -hmm. and then fix the problem. Yeah. It sounds fine, right? Yeah. 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 There's only one problem. Mm -hmm. The problem is, why do we let the problem mm -hmm. get to be as bad as it is, and mm -hmm. then try to fix it? Agree. Why don't we put the focus and emphasis mm -hmm. on, number one, Preventing the Preventative. problem I told from, you. from I, getting that's to unique. be bad in the first place. Yes, yes. The majority, <clears throat> and this is what's so shocking, uh -huh. the majority of problems can be prevented. Yes. Let me just give you just yes. A, B, C, D. Yes. I'm going to talk a little bit out of my field mm -hmm. also, mm -hmm. and I'm going to tell you things that are mm -hmm. shocking. Mm -hmm. First, let's talk about... Mm -hmm a real bad disease. Let's uh -huh. talk about heart disease. Uh -huh. Let's talk about uh -huh. strokes. Uh -huh. Let's talk about heart attacks. Uh -huh. Well, do you know uh -huh. that long before the person has a stroke, sure. long before the person has a heart attack, uh -huh. there are things uh -huh. that people could do to prevent that from happening in the first place. Awesome. A simple, Preventative. simple, I told simple you. blood test. Preventative. Find out where your <coughs> cholesterol level uh -huh. is. Find mm -hmm. out where the inflammatory mm -hmm. factors are. Mm -hmm. There's something that people don't know. Mm -hmm. There's something called CRP, mm -hmm. which is a test mm -hmm. that checks for inflammation. They don't even talk and about that. They don't talk about that. Mm -hmm. Most doctors, they'll check your cholesterol, mm -hmm. they'll see that it's okay, and mm -hmm. worse of all, mm -hmm. suppose it's a little high, mm -hmm. they will say, you're fine. Mm -hmm. But reality is, uh -huh. a little high uh -huh. over 20, 30 years, Does the damage. Da that's where the damage is. Uh -huh. Because really what the doctor uh -huh. should say uh -huh. is, it's not bad now. However, what we want to do is we want to prevent uh -huh. this from getting to be worse. Uh -huh. We want to prevent this high, little high cholesterol uh -huh. from building up plaque in the blood vessels and yes. eventually narrowing and blocking the blood vessels and getting a heart attack. Uh -huh. I'm giving this as an example even uh -huh. though I'm not a cardiologist, uh -huh. but I use this example uh -huh. in the field that I uh -huh. am. Right. I'm in the field of pain, uh -huh. interventional pain, Right. and there's a lot <coughs> of things uh -huh. that people could do uh -huh. to prevent the problem from getting as bad as it is. Right, 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 right. Let me just say uh -huh. that the majority of doctors, uh -huh. I will admit, uh -huh. 
they don't put emphasis on that. No. They're there. Conventional. They're there. They're, they're mm -hmm. taught mm -hmm. the way I was taught <coughs> back mm -hmm. in the olden days mm -hmm. to fix problems. Mm -hmm. So they look at your lab test, mm -hmm. they say you're okay, give you a nice clean bill of health mm -hmm. and go. But they don't go the extra mile. They mm -hmm. don't look at what can we do mm -hmm. to prevent problems. Mm -hmm. Sir, I don't know whether I can... Mm -hmm. Talk Steve. about your condition. Yeah, sure, Steve Kerr. I mean, all okay. day long. Because I'm going to be talking about you on my show because okay. you gave me the injection. Yes. It helped. You took me to the face, the first phase. First now phase. you're going to take me to the second phase. Absolutely. And it has helped me. And we were on the phone talking about people right. who had had uh, different surgery that they didn't have to have. Let's talk, let's talk about that. Absolutely. Steve, I'm going to use your yeah, view as an example. Please, please do. Let's talk about Steve. Mm -hmm. Now, Steve mm -hmm. presented to me with mm -hmm. knee pain. Mm -hmm. This is a very common, common complaint mm -hmm. because Steve is a tall guy mm -hmm. and every time he walks, mm -hmm. there's a lot of wear and tear that yes. happens on the knees. Mm -hmm. Now, when we're young, we're fine. Sure. But as we start to get older, mm -hmm. there's some fluid mm -hmm. inside of our knee. Uh -huh. We call it you know? synovial fluid. Yes. Now, it's like oil in a car. Uh -huh. You drive uh -huh. a car, uh -huh. eventually the amount of oil is going to decrease. Yes. Same thing in our joints. Uh -huh. Eventually, the amount of oil starts to decrease. Uh -huh. And when it does, the bones start to rub. Yes. And that's what starts this process called arthritis. Mm -hmm. Now, by the time the pain mm -hmm. comes, mm -hmm. the arthritis has already started. Yes. So the first thing is, mm -hmm. if I could preach to everybody, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say to them, mm -hmm. hey, go to your doctor. And this is, let's say, mm -hmm. after age 40. Mm -hmm. If you're 40 and or older, mm -hmm. go to your doctor, mm -hmm. and even if you don't have pain, mm -hmm. go to him mm -hmm. and say, I'm older than 40 years old, Right? can you just take a look <coughs> at my knees and mm -hmm. tell me whether I have mm -hmm. enough fluid? Right. Now, is there a simple test that can check mm -hmm. that? Of course there is. A simple x-ray, and Preventative. you can see if the bones mm -hmm. are closer than they should be uh -huh. or are they far apart uh -huh. if they're far apart it means you've got you're blessed uh -huh. it means you've got adequate fluid uh -huh. and therefore you're okay uh -huh. wait another 10 years and come back and check it out okay but let's say for instance uh -huh. the bones are a little closer but they're not touching uh -huh. do you know that nowadays uh -huh. we have lubricants uh -huh. that are did i tell you yes i told you he did these lubricants uh -huh are man-made, uh -huh. but they simulate uh -huh. what is in our body, which is synovial fluid. Uh -huh. And that lubricant uh -huh. is like pouring into uh -huh. your car one or two quarts of oil uh -huh. to bring it back up to uh -huh. where it should be. Uh -huh. Now guess what? Those pistons move nicely. Working nice properly. Working properly. <laughs> and they're good uh -huh. for, you know, we've uh -huh. been taught, yep. to get your oil changed That's right. and your car on a regular basis uh -huh. and your car is going to last for uh -huh. A long time. Mm, mm, Let mm. that oil drop, then you're, <coughs> you've got problems going on. Mm -hmm. Same, same concept. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I were to tell you mm -hmm. how many people mm -hmm. get knee surgery, staggering. It's staggering. Yes. There's so many people who you, have you. knee I replacement. That's that means something happened. Mm -hmm. What what happened? Mm -hmm. They didn't do preventive medicine. They sure didn't. And they got it mm -hmm. to a point, it's like somebody saying, you need a new engine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your engine is frozen, you know, mm -hmm. when you don't have enough oil right. and your pistons freeze, right. there's nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. You need a new engine. Mm -hmm. By that time, the damage has been done. Now mm -hmm. you got to spend thousands of dollars to put in a new engine. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense when mm -hmm. you could have just put That's in right. $5 That's right. uh, oil? That's right. That's so, right. The same philosophy uh -huh. a, applies to the human body. Uh -huh. And the way I look at it uh -huh. is this. There's a lots of diagnosis. Uh -huh. There's lots of things. Example, uh -huh. in our back, we uh -huh. have 
discs uh -huh. that are herniated. Uh -huh. There's so many doctors uh -huh. out there so, who don't do uh -huh. what needs to be done uh -huh. and the patient uh -huh. let me give an example uh -huh. herniated discs uh -huh. if somebody develops back pain uh -huh. and if the doctor does a simple x-ray uh -huh. and uh -huh. sorry, uh -huh. if they uh -huh. do a simple x-ray uh -huh. the x-ray is not going to tell us whether you have a herniated disc right they might show some findings uh -huh. that might suggest a herniated disc uh -huh. but the real test is an MRI uh -huh. well a lot of doctors uh -huh. they start putting people on medication yep and that yeah, medication mm -hmm. is pain medication uh -huh. now uh -huh. what they don't realize is that pain medication has a double-edged sword yes number side one there's effects. side effects yes shall i tell you some of the side effects <laughs> it's going to shock please, you please tell them doctor. how about Sorry. kidney mm -hmm. failure wow. how about liver <clears throat> toxicities liver failure mm -hmm. how about heart disease mm -hmm. and this happens over a few years it oh. doesn't happen all the, overnight mm -hmm. but the, does the doctor ever sit down and tell the patients no that, you know what I'm giving you this medicine, but it's been known to cause this. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like mm -hmm. you started with one thing, mm -hmm. never had any kidney problems, and mm -hmm. then wind up on dialysis. Mm -hmm. If you know anybody who's mm -hmm. on dialysis, it's mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. fun. No. It's no. not fun. You have to go and they yeah. put all these needles and they have to drain your whole blood sure and sure uh, go through all this mm -hmm. thing. Just speak to somebody mm -hmm. and ask them this question. And an increase in infection. Infection mm -hmm. it decreases your mm -hmm. quality of life. Sure does. Two, three times a week. <laughs> Some you more than sit, that. Sit there mm -hmm. and get dialyzed. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, by the way, they are so drained. Have drained. you ever seen somebody? Yes, I have. And you, you know <clears throat> that this mm -hmm. is not something mm -hmm. that you want to go through. No. But how many doctors are out there? who actually will say to themselves mm -hmm. that instead of putting this person on pills mm -hmm. let me try to fix the problem yeah, that's right preventative now, i'm going to say something mm -hmm. steve mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm not trying to bad mouth that other doctors here no no we don't but, say it like that mm -hmm. but i am going to mm -hmm. be very frank mm -hmm. suppose i put somebody on mm -hmm. medication right do you know uh -huh. that they have to come every month for sure. a refill? Sure, sure. sure. That sure. means uh -huh. for the rest of their life, uh -huh. I'm going to be able to write that prescription, write that prescription uh -huh. make some money, make some money. It may not be that much money, uh -huh. but if I've got a uh -huh. hundred people, yeah. because of, it's a lot it of money. Uh -huh. And I, I got a serious problem with that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I got a real serious problem with that uh -huh. because these doctors aren't helping the patients anymore. Not helping them. They're see, not helping them. They're see, not out there. See, to, he to try cares to about the community. Because you know what? Mm -hmm. If we don't help each other, uh -huh. if we don't think mm -hmm. about what is going on, right, 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 we're all going to suffer. Yeah, we're all going absolutely. to absolutely. And look in our community. Mm -hmm. Do we not have? Look, I don't expect mm -hmm. people to know this. Mm -hmm. They didn't go to medical school. Mm -hmm. I did. Right. And I know what the damaging effects are mm -hmm. of. Medication. Prolonged medication. I know mm -hmm. what the damaging effects are of mm -hmm. not taking care of our body. Mm -hmm. And I know about these things. Mm -hmm. And if you ask the average person, they don't know. They don't know. And don't I'm know. not blaming them, but they're not doctors. Mm -hmm. I blame the doctors but for not teaching, not teaching and them. Educating. And educating. Right. Educate. And then, worst of all, <coughs> they've got an ulterior motive. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that is, mm -hmm. suppose, get this, mm -hmm. let me, I'm going to tell you something else. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is going to shock you and I am going to tell uh -huh. you uh -huh. that you you think that doctors uh -huh. Uh -huh. are out there uh -huh. to help people. Uh -huh. Well, most uh -huh. are, uh -huh. most are, but some care more about the pocketbook it's just than they think about anything else. Economics. And economics, you hit it right That's on it. the nose, Steve. Uh -huh. Give you an uh -huh. example. Uh -huh. There was a arthritis doctor, uh -huh. and the arthritis doctor uh -huh. was one who I went over 
mm -hmm. and I shook his hand and gave him a pamphlet and told mm -hmm. him about what it is that we do. <coughs> mm -hmm. And I said to him, if you have any of your patients who've got severe pain in the mm -hmm. joints and right. so forth, mm -hmm. send them over to us. Yes. Well. Mm -hmm. Oh, he didn't like that. No, no. Initially he did. Mm -hmm. Because he had some people mm -hmm. who really had bad pain. Okay. So there was a patient mm -hmm. who had knee pain. Right. So I did exactly what I told you a few minutes ago. Right. Mm -hmm. I gave them a lubricant. Right. You know, when we put that lubricant, mm -hmm. they're good for a whole year. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes. So guess what? Or longer. <laughs> By the time mm -hmm. we gave those mm -hmm. three lubricant mm -hmm. shots, mm -hmm. they said their pain went away. Yes. I was super happy. Mm -hmm. But guess who wasn't happy? The doctor. <laughs> he wasn't happy. He was happy. Now, mm -hmm. I, I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. initially, he started sending me a bug. <coughs> and mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, I stopped. It just stopped. It just stopped. Mm -hmm. And I get a lot of people who come in on their own. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I get patients who are mm -hmm. referred by other doctors. Mm -hmm. So most of the times, um, I didn't even realize mm -hmm. that he had stopped. Mm -hmm. Wow. Then mm -hmm. one day mm -hmm. I met him at a conference mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it then dawned upon me that we mm -hmm. hadn't seen any of his patients mm -hmm. for close to a year. Mm -hmm. So I came over to him mm -hmm. and I asked him, um, you know, is there anything that I did wrong or mm -hmm. uh, did any... No, you did patient, something right. Patient... That's uh, what it was. ...complain or mm -hmm. anything because mm -hmm. I didn't know what was mm -hmm. the reason why mm -hmm. he was stopped sending. Mm -hmm. And he took me over to the side of the room. He didn't want to speak in front of anybody. Right. Right, and right. he said to me, no, doctor, you know what, you're very good at what you do. Mm -hmm. In fact, you're a little too good. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> That's what it was. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. I, I'm telling you, I didn't quite understand mm -hmm. that, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I said, what do you mean? <laughs> and he mm -hmm. said, you know, this is his exact word. And I hate to say this, but mm -hmm. he says, it's a business that we're in. Right. It's a business? Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We all work for money, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. when we realize mm -hmm. we're dealing with people's lives, De people's lives, we're dealing with people's lives, mm -hmm. and I wonder to myself, mm -hmm. how can somebody go to sleep? Mm -hmm. How can they be at peace with themselves, mm -hmm. knowing that if you didn't give somebody the proper advice? Mm -hmm. or you didn't do the proper treatment mm -hmm. and they five years later are mm -hmm. going to suffer mm -hmm. you know there are people who have knee replacements mm -hmm. and they don't make it out of that operating room see you know I that? told you CW because of the trauma and this man uh, is saving lives he's saving lives because that's trauma when you are going in and a bone saw is cutting through this okay. doctor it, and this is in the Oak Cliff area. The majority of our people don't even know that there's a preventative doctor in this neighborhood on this caliber. This this was a miracle to me when I met him because I've met many orthopedic surgeons that'll go in and say, replace the knee, replace the knee. But one that says preventative, we're going to save the knee, this, this man is rare. And Steve, you're very, very right because... Mm -hmm. Surgery should be the last thing. Mm -hmm. I've, I have in See? 32 years, mm -hmm. I've seen people mm -hmm. die on an operating table. When I was in, Thank you. When I was in medical school, mm -hmm. I was a student and one of the first things that sh shocked me mm -hmm. was when there was this mm -hmm. lady who mm -hmm. was getting ready for surgery and the anesthesiologist started mm -hmm. huh. putting medication into her veins. Mm -hmm. And the surgeon mm -hmm. and I 
we walked, I was his assistant. Uh -huh. So we walk into the room, uh -huh. we haven't even started uh -huh. the procedure, uh -huh. and the anesthesia is being poured into her uh -huh. veins. Uh -huh. She starts to convulse. Uh -huh. And I am a student, I'm a uh -huh. second year medical student, uh -huh. and I have never seen that before. Uh -huh. And if you've ever seen somebody uh -huh come off the table uh -huh. convulsing, uh -huh. it is a scary sight. Yes. It is yes. a very scary sight. Yes. Yes. Because you see the the uh -huh. ang you see the pain uh -huh. in the person's face. Uh -huh. You see their body convulsing and so forth. Uh -huh. And you see them die right in front of you. Yes. Yes. You yes. see them die right in front uh -huh. of you. It didn't uh -huh. happen because of the actual surgery. Uh -huh. It happened because of the anesthesia. Accident. My, my brother, my brother, I got to say this, okay. my brother had a knee replacement. Okay. He had to be rushed. I believe it was Baylor Hospital. Okay. He had five, four or five blood clots. Wow. Go through his heart. Wow. After the surgery had been done. That's right. Four or five blood clots. So That's right. what he's saying is true. That's why I tell anybody, preventative, you can always get the surgery. But you can't unsurgery the surgery once it's been done. If you can go the preventative route, like right. with Dr. Caress, why not? Why not? And you think about it. Mm -hmm. You know, God made mm -hmm. our bodies mm -hmm. to function in a certain way. Mm -hmm. When a surgeon takes a knife mm -hmm. and he cuts mm -hmm. and he Trauma. takes metal and he puts <coughs> it in, yes. and he, that is very traumatic. Thank that you. Can cause blood clots yes. like what happened to my brother to uh -huh. your brother uh -huh. it can cause infection it can cause um, problems uh -huh. with uh, uh -huh. scarring it can uh -huh. cause other things that were not even anticipated uh -huh. and uh, if uh -huh. there's a way to avoid all of that in the first place that's that's my emphasis Boy, I think that's awesome. that's my emphasis yeah, right now let me say one more thing. Mm -hmm. What an interview. The, it's awesome. The field mm -hmm. of medicine mm -hmm. evolves. Mm -hmm. And when it evolves, new things come on the market. Mm -hmm. I have another, mm -hmm. one more little gripe to talk about mm -hmm. other doctors. And mm -hmm. again, you mm -hmm. know, I, I'm not, I'm not, I will be the first one mm -hmm. to admit I'm not the smartest doctor in the world. Uh -huh. I'm not. I'm not the uh, You're a good one. most knowledgeable. Uh -huh. But one thing I will say <coughs> is this. If a doctor just does his best, uh -huh. then you know what? I am sure uh -huh. that people will appreciate it and they uh -huh. will benefit from it. Uh -huh. One problem that I have uh -huh. is that a lot of doctors don't keep up with the changes. Uh -huh. There are things that are out on the market now uh -huh. that were not there 10 years ago, That's right. 20, 30 uh -huh. years ago. Like what he shared with me, see that. I'll give you one example. Uh -huh. If you ask your typical doctor, uh -huh. do you know what a stem cell is? Uh -huh. Do you know how stem cells uh -huh. can repair mm -hmm. tissue without mm -hmm. the need for surgery mm -hmm. or how stem cells mm -hmm. help regenerate the body mm -hmm. the majority of doctors won't know it mm -hmm. because this is technology mm -hmm. that is very very recent mm -hmm. and I'm giving stem cells as in one example mm -hmm. I could give other examples mm -hmm. of where there are new techniques mm -hmm. out in the mm -hmm. medical community that mm -hmm. doctors have to be aware of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if they don't keep up with what's going on, they're only going to say the same thing to their mm -hmm. patients that mm -hmm. they did 20, 30 years ago. And you know what, Doctor? You said yes. something about the cortisone shot. Yes. That that's not the, the best shot. It is not. See, it see, is not. see, that's awesome because it's not. It is and not. And he knows that, see. Let me, all right, let me talk about that. There's a lot of things I could talk about, but yeah. I'll talk about cortisone. Mm -hmm. Number one, mm -hmm. cortisone mm -hmm. has a lot of side effects. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, mm -hmm. it affects our sugar status. Huh. So people who are 
borderline diabetic uh -huh. or are diabetic, they can see their sugar levels rise it's a spiking. lot. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh -huh. cortisone uh -huh. can cause secondary problems with thinning of bones. Wow. It is a common cause of osteoporosis. And people don't know that. I don't now, know that. This is what's so ironic. And mm -hmm. let me tell you, mm -hmm. suppose somebody mm -hmm. has early arthritis. Mm -hmm. And the general doctor, mm -hmm. see, when you have mm -hmm. a cortisone shot, and that cortisone shot causes thinning of the bones, mm -hmm. The next thing that can happen is either a fracture or the spurs can get fractured. Why? Because the bones have gotten thin. Damn. And when that happens, that is going to actually make the arthritis Go worse. Go complicate the problem. Wow. Absolutely. If you, I'll give you a, mm -hmm. an example. Mm -hmm. My cousin, mm -hmm. he played football mm -hmm. at SMU. Mm -hmm. Young kid, but he got tackled and he broke his uh -huh. um, uh -huh. tibia uh -huh. and he had an ACL. Uh -huh. So they had to do surgery. Uh -huh. They did an ACL repair and they fixed his bone. Uh -huh. Just five years later, uh -huh. he wasn't even, he was in his, still in his 20s. Uh -huh. And if you took an x-ray of that knee, compared to the other knee, uh -huh. this knee looks like it's 30 years older. Why? Wow. Because arthritis kicked in. When fracture happens, uh -huh. arthritis can kick in if the fracture involves the joint. Uh -huh. If it involves the joint. If the fracture is in uh -huh. the middle of the uh -huh. uh, bone, uh -huh. like along the shaft, uh -huh. then that's not <coughs> where arthritis develops. Uh -huh. So the problem that can happen there is abnormal angulation and uh -huh. things like that. Uh -huh. But if it happens in the joint, uh -huh. it can cause arthritis. Uh -huh. That's why cortisone is so bad because uh -huh. if we fracture into the joint, uh -huh. you're trying to help somebody with arthritis and guess what? You're going to make that arthritis worse. Times worse. That's why, you know, it's you, you uh -huh. gave the example uh -huh. of the cortisone uh -huh. Uh -huh. and uh, that's one thing. The other mm -hmm. thing that cortisone does is it increases our stress. Mm -hmm. it's, it can cause hair loss. Wow. It, yes, look it they up. They don't know that? See them. They don't know that. Cortisone, mm -hmm. if given over a long period of time, mm -hmm. cortisone is a stress hormone. Mm -hmm. What happens when we're stressed? We start mm -hmm. losing hair. Right, 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 right. And if you've got it pouring into your system mm -hmm. on, and it's in your body, mm -hmm. We're in a constant state of stress. And stress can kill you. And sure stress can. can kill you. Sure it can, can age you. Mm -hmm. It can kill you prematurely. Sure can. That's why, you know, that's my emphasis. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm about. Mm -hmm. I'm about doing the simple things to try to help people mm -hmm. prevent problems from getting worse. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm not here trying to tell um, that the medical community is bad. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that. Mm -hmm. I'm saying most of the doctors mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. care about their patients and mm -hmm. they do the right thing. Mm -hmm. But it's important mm -hmm. that a physician try to look out for mm -hmm. the patient's benefit in the long run. Absolutely. Look at the bigger picture. Absolutely. I started this whole discussion by saying mm -hmm. this. I was taught Identify the problem, <coughs> uh -huh. fix the problem, and mm -hmm. you're done. No, no, mm -hmm. no. That's not the way to do it. Preventative. The way to do it is uh -huh. before the problem starts in the first place. That's right. Think about the broader picture uh -huh. and prevent the problem from happening in the first place. Uh -huh. That's, that's I think, the one thing that I want to emphasize. Well, you know, I, I got to say this. You know, preventative... Is rare in doctors anywhere in the Metroplex. And this doctor came in, took pain 
out of my knees. That was the first phase, and now we're getting ready to go to the second phase. And and the only thing I can say, the people listening to us, uh, you know, I'm with Indigenous Product, but I endorse this doctor because that right there is a rarity to see a doctor with this kind of passion and energy. Our community needs him. I need him. So the thing of it is, I'm just saying thank you so much, Dr. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak to the folks out there. Oh, we're just getting started. And let me say, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm here, and if people have specific questions, mm -hmm. next time, pose them to me. I will be glad to okay. spread the word and mm -hmm. tell them my advice on certain medical mm -hmm. topics. Mm -hmm. Today, we just talked in general uh -huh. and later on uh -huh. I'd be more than willing to talk about specifics of uh -huh. specific individual issues my doors are open to yes. people who want to come and yes. see me uh -huh. but I am telling people uh -huh. that when they go back to their doctor uh -huh. what they need to do uh -huh. is say doctor I want you to look Mm -hmm. for my best interest in the long run. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell me what do I need to do. Just be frank, just, mm -hmm. you know, just mm -hmm. tell me A, B, C, D, <coughs> this is what they suggest and give me guidance on how I can change things and do things to prevent problems in the future. Mm -hmm. Everybody should demand this of mm -hmm. their own doctor. They need to look them in the face and the moment a patient does that, you know what happens? Mm -hmm. Now the doctor says, oh wow, <laughs> I got a smart patient and I better <laughs> be on my toes. Mm -hmm. I can't just say, okay, you're fine. Mm -hmm. Come back to me. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it puts them in check and we have to be in check because mm -hmm. if right. you let a doctor just right. treat you like he's, you're mm -hmm. just a another conventional line conventional, therapy that's yeah. right well, well just to make it easy on themselves they just need to come over and see dr Perez. come see my doctor <laughs> they need to come see you sure <laughs> we'll be glad we okay. love we love seeing mm -hmm. i love mm -hmm. taking care of people that's what i do and mm -hmm. that's you know mm -hmm. that's what i nothing nothing mm -hmm. makes me happier than saying i did something good Think awesome. about this. Think mm -hmm. about this. Mm -hmm. We're all going to meet our maker. Of course. We are all mm -hmm. going to. But mm -hmm. imagine mm -hmm. if we go mm -hmm. and we say, I, in my life, mm -hmm. I did something that helped this person, that helped this yeah, person. That person. You know what? We're right. going to get rewarded. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's, how, that's how my philosophy is. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. we're, you know, if we think in those terms, as a community, we help each other. That's so like all the, that. that's all and this is the passion that I saw, CW. That's the energy and passion I saw from Dr. Carras. What a great They show. need to come see him. Great this show. is awesome. This has been a great interview. Thank you, Thank Beth. you. Thank you. And I appreciate you giving me the time. Mm -hmm. Thanks.